Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 11th of 2025 is titled The Umbra of Earth. So what do we see here? Well, here we see images of the lunar eclipse that occurred a few days ago, and a lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes into Earth's shadow. And with multiple images like this, we can get a variety of views and can kind of see the pattern of Earth's shadow out in space. And what you'll see here is that it is definitely curved, and you can kind of see how it goes up and around through the images of the moon. Now, it is a circular shadow. If you could get enough images, you could actually map out the circular shadow. Now, the shadow itself is a cone, so we're seeing a cross-section of that cone, which would be a circle. And this is important for understanding that the Earth is spherical, because there is only one shaped object that will always cast a circular shadow, regardless of how everything is positioned, and that is a sphere. So, Earth's shadow being cast out into space, always looking circular on every lunar eclipse that had ever been observed, told us that the Earth was spherical. And this was known by the Greeks thousands of years ago as a demonstration of the fact that Earth is indeed a sphere. Now, we see the shadow here has various different stages and actually different colors. The darker region, the region of total eclipse, is called the umbra. The lighter region would be the penumbra near that. And we can see the coloration, the red color that we see in the darker part of the umbra. That is because of light from the sun that is scattered through Earth's atmosphere and fills the umbra. Now, why is it red? Well, that's because the Earth's atmosphere is better at scattering the shorter wavelengths. So the shorter wavelengths get scattered out, and the longer wavelengths, like the red, make it through into the umbra, so the moon will not disappear as it normally would. If the Earth had no atmosphere, the moon would actually disappear during a lunar eclipse. It would disappear just as the sun gets completely blocked out during a solar eclipse. Now, the blue that you see towards the upper left and the lower right is also part of Earth's atmosphere, but that is caused by the ozone layer in, of Earth's upper atmosphere. And that type of molecule is actually much better at scattering the red light and transmitting the blue. So that's why we get that bluish tinge toward the edge of the eclipse there. So giving us several different colors, we can see the regular color of the moon, kind of a grayish color, not very colorful, but we also see the red color of the deepest eclipse and the blue color associated with the ozone layer in Earth's atmosphere. And again, if the Earth had no atmosphere, we would see none of that. We would only see the moon when it was being directly illuminated, and the rest of the shadow, when it was in the shadow, it would be completely dark, and we would not see the moon at all at those times. So that was our picture of the day for September 11th of 2025. It was titled The Umbra of Earth. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a tale of two hemispheres. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.